to tell you about my five super fridge foods that I think every fridge should have. I'm going to start with oily fish. Loads of people say that they don't like fish or they can't cook fish, but something like smoked salmon is really easy and convenient. You can put it with your eggs at breakfast, you can make a salad for lunch or supper. Other oily fish include herring, sardines, tuna. Um, tuna be careful of, don't have so much tuna because of the mercury, but oily fish should definitely be part of our diet and I'd say at least once a week. Eggs, that's my number two super fridge food. Eggs are so perfect, they're a complete protein, a complete meal in themselves. Um, eggs contain a great brain nutrient called choline, which is really important for our brain health, so it helps you to think. They're also a good source of things like selenium and iodine, which are hard to get these days from all the foods that we eat, some of the foods that we eat. My third super fridge food are ground flax seeds. These are really, really great source of protein, great source of good fats, great source of fibre. Um, and they also contain lignans, which are phytoestrogenic and help to balance your female, or will help to balance your sex hormones. Um, I use flax seeds in my smoothies, I put them into flaxseed crackers, I put them through the granola. So if you can get them about a dessert spoon a day, I think that would be great every day in your diet. My fourth superfood is coconut oil and coconut fats. People don't tend to use coconut oil, but actually it's one of the healthiest oils to cook with because it's stable at a high temperature. Coconut oil contains medium chain fatty acids and these fats are very quickly digested so that they don't go and, um, they're not processed to stay on your hips, they're actually used quickly for energy. You can use coconut milk in your smoothies, you can use it on your cereal, you can use it in tea in place of dairy if you have a dairy intolerance, it's a great one. And you can buy coconut oil that doesn't have a very strong coconut flavour, which is, which is good if you're cooking something like eggs and you don't particularly want coconut eggs for breakfast. My fifth super fridge food are berries, in particular dark berries. And in the summer we're lucky because we've got a plentiful supply of all of these. The antioxidants, the really important antioxidants called anthocyanins, are in the dark skin around the berries. Um, and strawberries are also good. They have, berries in general have a much lower glycemic index, which means they don't upset your blood sugar levels. So these are my five foods that I permanently have in my fridge. And I think if you should start incorporate the, incorporating these into your diet, you'd have a much healthier diet. <laughs>